Hello everyone, welcome to Applied Forensic for Research Sciences. I am Riya Singh, volunteer of Applied Forensic for Research Sciences and today we will be learning about cyber evidence at crime scene. In this video, we will be going through various topics starting with what is computer forensics, preservation of crime scene and evidence, handling of evidence, incident response, establishment and maintenance of chain of custody, problems in India context, legal aspects, role of cyber evidence. Computer forensic is a branch of digital forensic pertaining to evidence found in computer and digital storage media. The goal of computer forensic is to examine digital media in a forensically sound manner with the aim of identifying, preserving, recovering, analyzing and presenting facts and opinions about the digital information. In court, computer forensic evidence is subject to the usual requirement for digital evidence. Information should be authentic, reliably obtained and admissible. Whenever we are talking about crime scene preservation, certain things should be kept in mind like depending on the situations this will vary, take pictures of everything, room setups, connection and etc, labels all wire and connections, bag and tag all evidence. Evidence preservation, seize all hardware that is necessary to reconstruct evidence, jam or disable all wireless connection if possible, make 2-3 copies of all media, authenticate all copies of media with MD5 and SHA1 hash algorithms. Handling of evidence by cyber analysis, identify any digital information or artifacts that can be used as evidence, collect, observe and preserve the evidence, analyze, identify and organize the evidence, rebuild the evidence or repeat the situation to verify the same results every time checking the hash value. Incident response can be defined as the precise set of actions to handle any security incident in a responsible and meaningful and a timely manner. Goals of incident response are to confirm whether an incident has occurred, educate senior management, to provide rapid detection and containment to facilitate for criminal action against perpetrators. Now 6 A's of Digital Forensic Assessment, Acquisition, Authentication, Analysis, Articulation. Next we have is Source of Evidence. So these are Existing File, Deleted Files, Log, Special system files, email archives, printer spools, internet history, chat archives, misnamed files, encrypted files. Establishment and maintenance of chain of custody. The tools we required are evidence notebook, tamper evident labels, permanent ink pen, camera. To document the following, first who reported the incident along with the critical date and time. Second, details leading up to formal investigation. Third, name of all people conducting investigation. Fourth, establishment and maintain detailed activity log. Next, we have problems in India context. No standard for computer forensic is yet developed. No guidelines for companies dealing with electronic data during disputes. No recognition to any of the forensic tool. Issues related to anti-forensic are not talked about. Legal aspects are the growing demand for security and certainty in cyberspace leads to more stringent laws. The violation and maintaining of cyber laws must be distinguished from classical criminal activities and criminal law enforcement. The dynamics between these different forms of law violation and law enforcement is important and shall be addressed. Role of cyber evidence First is, as cybercrime increases, there is a strong need for cyber forensic expertise in all business models and more importantly, among law enforcement agencies who rely on computer forensics to find cyber criminals. Second, cyber forensic investigation make detailed reports of the incident to solve all queries and to use collected information to prevent similar attacks from occurring in the future. The role of cyber forensic in criminal investigation is constantly increasing because of the skill that is required to retrieve information and use it as evidence. 
The main goal of computer forensic is to identify, collect, preserve and analyze data in a way that preserves the integrity of the evidence collected so it can be used effectively in a legal case. As we have reached the end of the presentation, it's time to check how much you have understood. And the question is, computer forensic is a branch of dash science. Uh, options are cyber security, forensic, digital forensics, all of the above. Do post your answer in the comment section. As you all know, the previous uploaded video, the topic was polygraph test or lie detection test. In that, the question was asked, polygraph test violated which article? The correct answer is B, article 20, subsection 3. We have also given the answers of this question in the description. Thank you everyone for watching this presentation. If you have any query related to this topic, feel free to write in the comment section.